And Henry, do not do it. Don't you dare do it. Use a freaking... Oh, that's what you get. That's what you get, Scrubby Wubby, for using a new tube or trying to use a new tube in a YouTube video. How's it going Scrubby Wubbies and Scrubby Wub Ets? It's Sick here back again with Vindictive Gaming and today I got you a quick COD 4 gameplay on Crash. And people are saying, what are you doing on COD 4? Modern Warfare 3 is about to come out. Well, what I'm doing is getting my COD 4 prestige token. If you don't know what a prestige token is, it's basically for the prestige shop put in Modern Warfare 3. And if you don't know what the prestige shop is, Robert Bowling actually released a video a couple of days ago. And that's what we're going to talk about today, my thoughts and all my thinking on how I should proceed, how you should proceed, and just tips and tricks and stuff like that. And of course, everything in the prestige shop. So let's get this started. Alright, so in Modern Warfare 3, they switch things up when you prestige. Okay, when you used to prestige, you would get like an extra custom class every other prestige, and you would get some challenges and stuff like that. You would get the emblems and stuff. Well, in Modern Warfare 3, you get to choose exactly what you want, okay? So let's get started on what things you can choose when you proceed and using those prestige tokens. Alright, number one is you get an extra custom class, okay? This has always been in the Call of Duties and it's always been there. The reason why I would choose this one over all the other ones is because now killstreaks are attached to custom classes. So if my team was getting raped or something and I needed like a counter instead of like my chopper, I would definitely choose my support class, and that's why I would choose an extra custom class. Alright, now number two is double XP. You'll get double XP for two hours after prestiging. So that could be good when you're getting through the crappy guns and you can't pick your actual custom classes. So that's a good thing for that. Alright, now number three is double weapon XP. This is basically like double XP for your gun to help you use it to get your weapon proficiencies better and faster. So these are like perks sort of. Watch this sexiness come around the corner. I'm creeping. Creeping. There he is. I've got this guy. Oh no, what are you doing? You're gonna try to jump in here too? Three piece for the win. That's probably my first ever three piece for a COD 4. I just wanted to say that. Alright, now where were we? Oh, of course, the double gun XP. That's basically, like I said, the proficiencies for your gun. So it's like kick, impact, attachments, focus, breath, and stability. Alright, now number four is you get to unlock gear. I'm guessing this is guns. You get to unlock certain guns that you want. Like, let's say you wanted like a G11 in Black Ops. It was at the high levels, like a level 44. So you wouldn't get that gun for a long time. So that's why you would use your prestige token to unlock gear. So this is like to unlock the guns that you really like or you're really good at with. All right, number five, number six, and number seven are actually kind of tied together. It's uh, their packages with titles, emblems, and challenges, I believe. He really didn't talk too much about it, but we're guessing that's what it's about from like what I've looked up and stuff like that. All right, so that's basically it. Just challenges and stuff, and every time you went up, it would be better. And Henry, do not do it. Don't you dare do it. Use a freaking... Oh, that's what you get. That's what you get, Scrubby Wubby, for using a new tube or trying to use a new tube in a YouTube video. <laughs> Alright, now let's get to the final one. It is resetting all of your stats. So this is what a lot of people have wanted for a long time. They've got to since prestige and they got really bored. They couldn't do anything about it. Well, now you can use prestige token, your last prestige token, to reset all of your stats. So that's basically it for the prestige shop. I know Edub kind of uh, touched this a little bit in his video and I'll link it at the bottom. But uh, I would just wanted to clear a lot of things up. A lot of people have questions about this stuff, guys. And I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope that you learned some stuff about the Prestige Shop and about Modern Warfare 3. Also, I'm sorry I didn't mention this. If you didn't know, if you Prestige in any of the previous COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, or Black Ops, you actually get another Prestige token. It's not how many times you Prestige in the game. It's just if you Prestige, like, one time, you'll get a Prestige. It doesn't go by how many times you actually Prestige. So guys, remember, double XP weekend for all Call of Duties this weekend, October 27th. So be sure to go out there if you haven't proceeded in certain games. Go do it. And until next time, guys, this has been Sick on the Sticks. Later.